Hi, this is Bilal Khan, uh, and this is my personal and professional development video. Uh, and the topic of today's video is how to uh, overcome feelings of regret or past failures. Uh, so before we begin, uh, a lot of people ask me that how they can send their questions or uh, the challenge, and how I can get the, uh, you know, how I can answer their questions and include them as part of my video. So all you gotta do is, if you're a Governor State uni uh, University student, uh, you can just send it to me on my uh, GSU email. Or if you're someone who is not, uh, then whatever platform you're watching this video on, uh, let's say you're watching this on uh, LinkedIn or, uh, because I post my videos on like on six or seven different platforms uh, and I can't really call them uh, on top of my head. Uh, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, uh, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and a couple others as well. So all you gotta do is uh, send me uh, a question or a challenge detailing your situation to, I would say about 150 to 200 words, what problem you are having or whatever advice you would like me to give you. And uh, I'll definitely get back to you in uh, a couple of weeks. So I actually say this part uh, in the towards the end of my video, uh, but in, in case you have uh, never, uh, you know, I never had the chance to, uh, you know, uh, watch my entire video. Uh, this is for you guys. So yeah, today's uh, video is about what you can do to overcome feelings of regret or past failures. So I got a very good email, a very good, uh, a very uh, inter interesting situation. I wanted to, you know, go over it today, uh, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and start re reading the email. And the email says, uh, "Thank you for providing us with so much guidance to your work." Uh, it means a lot. You're welcome. Uh, I need advice to know how I can overcome the fact that I wasted several years of my life. Okay. Uh, I was pressurized by my parents uh, and family to study a career that I feel does not align with my passion. Or I wasn't aware of my passion. Uh, now that I have graduated, uh, I have having a hard time finding a suitable job. Uh, I want to go back to school and study really what I wanted to study that I have a passion for. Uh, but now I'm 25 and I don't know if it will be worth it for me. Well, you're never too old to go after the things that you want in life. Uh, the messed up part about it is that even now, <laughs> everyone who recommended me to study what I ended up studying, say that I should have listened to my heart. Well, imagine that, huh? Uh, they get upset at me when I bring up this topic and that gets me even sadder. Okay. Yeah, it's very important for you to surround yourself with people who build you up or people who encourage you to go after the things you want in life and not people who are always trying to, you know, force you to do something that you're not comfortable with doing. And I say that, I say that a lot, you know? Uh, your peer group or your friends uh, should should always consist of people who are very supportive, very encouraging, and who have a lot of respect, a lot of love, and a lot of appreciation for you as a person. Because if you don't, uh, that will end up damaging your self-esteem, and then that will end up damaging your confidence. Uh, please advise what I should do, and if you want to go hard on me, I'm totally okay with that uh, because I'm just happy with my, I'm just unhappy with my decision. Well, I'm not going to go hard on you because uh, you're a girl and uh, one thing that I really want to stress out uh, at this topic is, and I actually made a video on that as well where a guy was having a problem with you know communicating with his sister or the, the women in his life is uh, men and women communicate very differently and they respond to different things. And uh, at, at, you guys could probably notice that as well, that every time I'm trying to answer a guy's email, I'm very direct and very uh, assertive uh, towards him or I'm challenging him. So what I'm really doing is I'm helping his confidence grow. And guys, we need to overcome a challenge, to overcome a difficulty, to overcome uh, a bad situation to feel positive about, about ourselves. But women, on the other hand, they respond differently. Uh, 
they need love, they need support, they need encouragement, uh, and they need a lot of praise, you know, or they need a lot of uh, words of support for their confidence and for their self-esteem to grow. So anybody who's watching a video and this goes in your personal life and your professional life, your intimate relationship, your romantic relationships, family relationships and everything, that if you're trying to increase confidence or if you're trying to make someone better, uh, make sure you are aware of what the true psychology of, you know, the true psychology of men and women and how they respond to different things. Uh, because a lot of times people actually ask me that, hey, you know, you do a lot of great work and we're very inspired by you and we want to give out your advice uh, or we want to, you know, uh, you know, do things for our community or our peer group, uh, taking your principles or taking the things that you teach, uh, talk about and, you know, move it forward, which is great, you know, because at the end of the day, I can coach or I can teach hundreds of thousands of people or how many people need help with. So if you want to do that, that's great. But before you can teach something or before you can coach something, you must know or you must become competent at it. And you got to be able to recognize these sort of things that I talk about as well. That uh, even though I talk about different solutions and I talk about different philosophies, I know how to apply these philosophies in different situations or the different people uh, in my life that I'm, I'm communicating to. So if I go hard on you, it will actually have an opposite effect. Which is, it looks like it is having an opposite effect uh, because you have said in your email that people get upset over you or they're trying to force things upon you and it's just too much going on in your head. Uh, so yeah, the only thing I want to say is you are never too old or it's never too late for you to go after the things that you want to go after. And uh, the things that I really talk about are the philosophies or the subjects that I really discuss are more of a fundamental, but they're more like a guideline. And uh, it's not a copy paste solution that you know you can uh, uh, you know just uh, copy something that I say to somebody and then it's gonna get you the result. No, it's actually gonna have the, the opposite result. So it's very important to kind of take the time to understand the philosophy and understand the thing that I talk about. And one of the things, one of the quotes that I keep repeating and keep saying is when you change the way you look at things, uh, the things you look at change. And this is by Dr. Wayne Dyer. And uh, like let's say you have said in your email that it took you four years to uh, realize that it wasn't whatever you did wasn't your passion so I would say it's actually it, you did not end up wasting your four years but you ended up learning uh, in those four years that uh, whatever you did uh, wasn't inclined or wasn't uh, aligned with your passion or your purpose or your mission in life so yeah I mean, take it as a learning experience, you know, and let's say an, on average, you know, a person lives 65 to 70 years uh, and it took you only three years or four years to realize that whatever you're doing wasn't your passion and now you have discovered your passion or this passion could even, you know, either be with you or you have this passion for this thing for your entire life or maybe for the next decade or two. I would say three years, four years is just a very small price to pay. And a lot of people, they don't, they never discover their true passion or what they're passionate about. So you actually are in a pretty good position. Uh, might not believe it, but you are actually in a pretty good position that you have been able to discover your passion or something that you really feel that you have the internal enthusiasm for that you can go and, you know, do. So I would, yeah, I would definitely recommend that uh, if, uh, you because I'm not aware of your uh, personal life or you haven't uh, I, I don't know about your financial situation or stuff like that uh, but if you can afford to I would say definitely yeah go for it uh, go definitely have uh, a degree in something that you're passionate about because when you do that when you're studying something that you love or when you are working at a job that you love you will see that your life or your personal life starts to get better as well and you have positive emotions you have a lot of positive things happening in your life because you're taking action in a very peaceful and very relaxed state and whatever you're doing for work or whatever you're doing in school it does not feel like work it does not feel like school it feels like breathing you know you get up every day in the morning and you can't you can't wait to go to school or you can't wait to go to work so if you can put it uh in this uh if you can, you know, 
take that into account or if you can spend the next three four years of your life trying to uh, go to school or trying to study something that you really love or really have a passion for you will actually start to attract uh, a lot of positive emotion a lot of positive people and uh, a lot of uh, feelings of happiness peacefulness and contentment in your life because you, you have said that you know you were studying something and you got a degree in something that you did not have a passion for and you had a lot of other things going on as well that people were recommending you to do different things and uh, stuff like that so it looks like you were in a very uh, frustrated or very you know depressing state at this moment in time or you know something that you're really sad about but uh it happened and whatever happened in the past you can't go back you can't change it uh but what you can do is you can focus on on the present and you can live in the present moment you can decide that hey what i gotta get done today uh and that's gonna help me get to where i want in the future and uh you can you definitely can't go back in the past you can definitely not get those four years back but if you look at it as hey those three or four years whatever i ended up uh, studying or whatever I ended up experiencing or whatever I did in those four years that actually helped me get to where I want now so this is great this is awesome uh, so this is the way you gotta look at it and once you look at it in this way uh, you will start to feel very easy and very comfortable uh, within yourself and like I say that uh, I, I want to stress this point one more time that uh, whatever people are telling you to do or whatever people are you know advising you to do it's very important for you to kind of take that into account but at the same time listen to yourself first you got to put yourself first you got to be the person uh, that listens to himself or herself first before they make a decision all right so what makes me happy and uh, whatever story people people tell you or whatever things people tell you to do uh, definitely take that into consideration or you know discuss it you know but at the same time only do things that you absolutely love or you absolutely have a passion for because uh the only person who can make you happy is the person that you see in the mirror every day so uh it's very important for you to uh kind of develop that sort of mindset and i would say go for it definitely go for it and definitely uh if you can afford to or if you have the finances or if you your personal life allows you to you know go uh have that degree i would say absolutely go for it and you will actually in a few years time you will actually come and realize that hey you know uh i feel so much better now and i should have done this a long time ago but it's better late than never so yeah, uh, that's all the advice I had for you uh, today. And uh, uh, I know you wanted me to kind of criticize you or kind of go, you know, a bit hard on you. But trust me, if I had done that, that would actually have had an opposite effect on you. Uh, and this is very important. This is why I keep stressing a lot of similar things, a lot of similar subjects. That uh, if you want to, you know, take my work and kind of put it, you know, forward or spread it out it's very important to understand the different philosophy and different things i talk about and don't, don't be a robot like you know you this if this thing applies in this particular instance it will apply in another instance as well yes it may but there's a lot of things that are going on which you might not know so it's very important for you to if you want to coach these things or if you want you know my, uh, my work you want to spread my work forward or if you want other people to become aware of my work or spread my teachings it's very important to understand human behavior and human nature as well. So yeah, that's all the advice I had for you uh, today. So uh, definitely, I would say, uh, go for it. And whatever you did in the past uh, has absolutely no bearing on what may or may not happen in the future. You actually have a great chance now that you have discovered your passion or you know what your passion is. So you got to feel that you're very lucky that you are able to realize that and then you have an opportunity to kind of study uh or get a degree in something that you absolutely love so so yeah this is Bilal Khan uh signing off uh have a great day guys